Welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review. Highlights, features, and analysis with head coach Connell Maynard. Brought to you by University Kia, Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, Huntsville Hospital, Redstone Federal Credit Union, Fellowship of Faith Church, and X Golf. Bulldog fans, welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review. Good evening and welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm your host, Ted Dixie. The Bulldogs went down to Lorman, Mississippi to play Alcorn State yesterday. Coach, Alcorn has a saying, you don't want that smoke, but you brought some smoke with you. Yeah, we did. We, the guys played hard. Uh, we knew it was going to be a hard, tough battle. Uh, they defending champs. Um, and uh, we knew we had to go down and take it. You know, you win boxing, you got to knock the champ out. And we didn't quite knock him out. We threw some, we traded blows, uh, but we didn't knock him out, and uh, we need to knock him out. But I'm proud of the guys uh, uh, for playing so hard. This has been a slow, steady climb for you, Coach. Six victories last year on the precipice of having seven victories this season. What's that mean to your program? That means we're, in, we're heading in the right direction. Uh, winning, having the first winning season last year, six years of losing, and then uh, right back on it again this year. Um, you know, I've been saying it all along that we was playing great, but we was probably a year behind, a year ahead of schedule. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, next year should be our year, and uh, we we want to get this last W to get to uh, seven and five this year. The Bulldogs had an opportunity to still stay in the hunt for the Eastern Division Championship with a victory yesterday at Alcorn, and we'll take a look at the first half highlights from that ball game when we come back on the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Kynell Maynard. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. A church with a big heart of love. Located at 315 Winchester Road in Huntsville, Alabama under the leadership of Dr. O. Wendell Davis. The worship services begin at 7.45 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. every Sunday. Now, we pray that you are blessed by our worship experience. Darrell brings new energy to the power plant. Julian's accounting is by the numbers. They're student interns from the College of Business and Public Affairs at Alabama A&M University where marketing class connects with the community and companies come to recruit. So while Kyle strengthens his managerial skills, he's earning a business degree and experience at Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. 98.9 WJAB-FM Huntsville. 100,000 watts, 24 hours a day. Smooth jazz and cool vocals. I'm just a prisoner of love. I get misty just holding your hand. 90.9 WJAB. From the campus of Alabama A&M University. Alabama A&M University presents its 50th anniversary banquet Thursday, December 5th at 7 p.m. in the T.M. Elmore Gymnasium. Celebrating 50 years of making a difference, will present guest speaker, author, minister, and radio host, Michael Eric Dyson. For ticket information, 256-372-5550. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! Thank you for watching the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm your host, Ted Dixie. Coach, the Bulldogs have an opportunity, still staying in control of your own destiny in the Eastern Division of the Southwestern Athletic Conference. You're going to Alcorn, Coach. It's senior day at Alcorn. We haven't won there since 2013. What's on your mind when we get off the bus? Uh, uh, just get a W. Playing well, playing hard. Um, we know we're going to have a shot. And uh, we got to be able to make plays down the stretch. And uh, we knew the guys were prepared. They're gonna play hard. Uh, we knew we controlled our own destiny. We had a shot if we could win that game uh, to get to the Swag Championship. So um, guys play hard. 
But you got to take your hats off to Al Corn and Coach Manier. Um, his guys prepared. They they champions. They fought like champions. They didn't give up, and they made one more play than we did down the stretch. Mm. Your student Thank athletes you. coach coming to the ball game. It has been an uphill climb for them and their careers here. But your seniors showed up in this ball game, coach, and gave us exactly what we hoped they would. Yeah, they did. They did, and uh, that's what we look for out of those guys. Some uh, leadership, uh, fight. Um, show those guys never give up, never quit, keep fighting, and, and good things happen. And uh, we just came up one play short. And just to open the kickoff, uh, they're going to kick it to. Uh, uh, this is Josh, Josh Cartwright. Josh Cartwright. Up back, he almost break it here. And that uh, was a good return. And so we got a good field position here. And uh, we're down seven zip at this point. Here's Bentley uh, after a couple of penalties. I uh, got us backed up, and then Bentley got a good run there. And uh, here's the first down, second down throw. We got the first down to Xavier Moore, so we off and running. <clears throat> and we come right back. They try to blitz us, and we throw hot to uh, the tight end, Kendrick Johnson. We come back run the option again, and Bentley makes the guy that's mm. free, makes him miss right there. And, uh, you know, we know he wasn't going to be blocked, and, you know, Bentley made him miss. And uh, we were stopping on downs there, and now the defense is back on the field. And uh, we're going to have a good stand here. Uh, it's a good tackle by Portlock on third down and forced them to punt. And now we got the ball back. And uh, we throw a quick hitch out to Abraham, Abraham right here. Abdul. We got him spread out. And then we throw the slant to Abdul. And so we kind of got him on the heels with the 50. Uh, Quill now it's another throw inside. Um, he just reading the flat defender there, had Bentley swinging. Now here's a quarterback draw. It's a good play for us. They was giving it to us. <clears throat> here's Bentley again. Another eight tough ten yards right there. And he's punishing him at the end of every one of these runs. Another one, they blitzed us and we throw it hot out to uh, the slot guy again. Now here's another option. Again, that guy's unblocked and uh, Bentley just ran him over and took him on in. And, do what he do, man. The number of that <clears throat> truck was number one, Jordan Bentley, with 245 yards on the day, coach, and four touchdowns. Outstanding performance. Another great performance by Bentley, man. He's just, he just unbelievable. Um, you know, he don't have the breakaway speed, but he got everything else. And uh, he got heart. And as you can see on that run, man, he's just relentless. We have to give our hats off to the defense coach. They held all corn to about their season average in scoring. Sometimes that's all you can hope for. Yeah, they did. They held them to uh, 34, which is a lot, you know. Uh, but, you know, they got some stops in the fourth quarter when we had to have them. Uh, we just weren't able to get the ball in the end zone when we needed mm. to. Here's a pick by Portlock uh, right here. Uh, what I wanted to see was could he stay on his feet there. He kind of left his feet. I don't know if he had to or not, but it still was a great play. Turnover, got the ball back. And here's Mr. Bentley coming right back at you. It's about a 25-yard gain. And so now we're moving the ball again. Um, here's a slant route to Woods. And as you can see, we're moving the ball at will. Um, as you have pretty much all season, Coach. Yeah, and here's another throw in the hole to uh, um, Abdul. It'll cover two, either in the hole there. And we come back here and uh, run Bentley again. And he throws it back to a quill. We got to play. Get that block right there, man. Come on, Josh. If he get that block right there, he's still running. So we, we just, uh, we close, man, we close, we close. We close to being great. Uh, now defense is back, and uh, here's another good stop. Relentless, man, you got four or five people around the ball. That's what you got to have. Uh, now here's the option play. He got the quarterback, he got the pitch, and that's perfect defense, man. Again, quarterback try to pull it. We got a man for him, we got a man for the pitch guy. That's discipline defense. We get a stop. It's 14 to 7. <clears throat> Late in the second quarter here. And uh, we got a chance. A good return by OJ. He is making people miss, man. Mm. Good return. And out to the 38-yard line. And uh, here we go. Back to Bentley. Uh, two tough, hard yards right there. And we spread them back out. Throw the slant again. Open Woods, all Woods make another catch. Another great uh, throw and catch. Then get them off sides here. Free play. And uh, he hammered out and Wood snagged that one out there. Mm. So he's playing well, hasn't played a lot of snaps all year long. 
But we got a lot of depth at that position at wide receiver. Here's the quill. He's going to hammer it outside. And uh, we'll take that. Take what they give you. And we'll go back to Bentley. And uh, he gets another five tough yards, man. Five of that 240 yards he got in the game. Back to Bentley again, and he pops it up the middle for a touchdown. And it's tied up, 14-14, with a minute and like 12 seconds left in the half. And uh, uh, that was a big score there. We got the momentum. We, we're driving the ball at will. We get the ball coming out of halftime. We can just hold them. Uh, you know, we're going to come out and score and take the lead, go up 21-14, if we can if we could hold them here before the half. But uh, you're going to probably see right here. We're not going to be able to do that. And it's 21 to 14, so they scored. I uh, didn't have the highlights, but we go in down seven when it looked like we'd go in, uh, we'll go into the half 14 14 with the ball coming out. And we only hit the ball four times in the first half. We scored two touchdowns, missed the field goal, and got stopped on one of those drives. So we moved the ball at will. We was feeling good about what we was doing offensively, and I knew we could come back out and get a score. Uh, but that score before halftime really put a damper in in our spirits and what we was doing. Mm. Um, so it was a big, big, big uh, drive there before the half. And of course, the Bulldogs had other opportunities, as you mentioned, Coach. <clears throat> you went for a field goal at one point in the first half. What was your thinking on that? I was trying to get the points there. You know, we, we knew it was going to be a tight game, a battle, and uh, it was going to come down to some points at the end. And if we'd have got that field goal, all we needed is a field goal at the end instead of a touchdown. So that's why I we went for the field goal, and uh, we had confidence he was going to make it. And when we come back on the other side, we'll take a look at the second half highlights here on the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. A church with a big heart of love. Located at 315 Winchester Road in Huntsville, Alabama. Under the leadership of Dr. O. Wendell Davis. The worship services begin at 7.45 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. every Sunday. Now, we pray that you are blessed by our worship experience. Parker is 29 and learning to communicate again. The students teaching him earn a degree with 100% job placement. But the real reward is changing a life. At Alabama A&M, it's a university where agencies actually go to recruit compassionate students who help themselves by helping others. Service is sovereignty at Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. 90.9 WJAB FM Huntsville. 100,000 watts, 24 hours a day. Smooth jazz and cool vocals. Give your all to me. Give my all to you. 90.9 FM WJAB. For the campus of Alabama A&M University. Alabama A&M University presents its 50th anniversary banquet Thursday, December 5th at 7 p.m. in the T.M. Elmore Gymnasium. Celebrating 50 years of making a difference, we'll present guest speaker, author, minister, and radio host Michael Eric Dyson. For ticket information, 256-372-5550. Yeah. Offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! Again, thank you for watching the Alabama A&M football review with head coach Kyle Maynard. I'm the guy who can smile today, Ted Dixie, because I'm your host. But coach, right about now, we're not thinking about any kind of smiling or getting happy. We're still got some work to do against Alcorn on their senior day. 
Yeah, yeah, it's uh, halftime, and we right there. We one possession away, and, uh, you know, we got the ball coming out. So we got we to go down and score and tie this thing back up and, and then continue to play well. So uh, we talked about, uh, uh, you know, they only had the ball five times in the first half, and they scored three touchdowns. We only had it four times. We scored two and uh, missed a field goal and, and then uh, got stopped on down. So we told the guys, it's not going to be a lot of possessions. we got to take advantage and, and make the best of them. It had to be the fastest first half, Michael Burns remarked during the broadcast, that we have had all season and maybe in quite a long time. That first half went off in an hour and five minutes. Yeah, like I said, it was only nine possessions. And uh, we, we had a couple 12, 14 play drives, and they had a couple drives. And, uh, so, yeah, when you do that, it, it tends to go by pretty fast. And the Bulldogs get the ball first in the second half. Yeah, here's, they kicked it to Josh again, and they did a little bit better on the coverage this time, and we had the 28th and the 38th. So here we go, and start off with Bentley, and uh, that's about six, seven tough yards right there. And uh, we, we come right back to him, and he gets the first down. Uh, so we, we feeding our horse, you know. And uh, now we're going to throw one here. Um, a little drag to uh, Abdul, and he breaks the tackle and gets the Man. first down. <clears throat> He's a tackle break. We're doing that. We picked up right where we left off, man. That's right. Three plays, two first downs, and we come back with counter right here to uh, Bentley, and uh, he picks up another seven yards, and now we back pass again. We take a shot right here um, mm. to Abdul, and we get the pass interference, so we get the first down, and uh, we got the ball in the twenty. Throw it out route to Bentley. And uh, he gets eight yards on first down. And so we had the 12 and still moving the ball. Now a little toss to Bentley. Cuts back on one guy, breaks the tackle there, gets the first down. Another three or four hard yards there. And then another handoff to Bentley. Ooh. And uh, he breaks, breaks miss, shakes one guy and outruns the rest, man. It's a great run on his part right there. And uh, we tied it up. It's 21 21. We come right out, tied up. And now we got a ball game. Of course, on the replay here, Coach, good motion here by the offensive line to get in front of folks, get into the lanes, and Bentley does the rest. Yeah, that's all you need, you know. Just give him a, give him an alley, uh, stay on those guys for a couple seconds, and he'll do the rest. And we sky kick this one here, and I think they bring it back across the field. I know we did a good job on it. Uh, it's a great job by the defense getting down there, making them start from the 27-yard line. And there's the defense. It, 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 you got a little life, but you know, they went down and scored in 27 21. So now we're back on offense and we got to try to answer that score. And here's a little play we like to throw to the tight end here, a little delay to the tight end. And we got him right there. He probably went bending a little bit too much, but that's okay. It's another good play. So we right back at him. Uh, and uh, then we throw it right back to Kendra Johnson again, and it's another first down. So we're moving the ball right back down their throat, man. Uh, and we throw a little out route to CJ, and, and we, we're moving it, and we come. And, uh, and you, you know, you got that's, that's the one catch. right there. You Great know, catch. He, he can stay on his feet, he scores on that wheel route. And uh, here's Bentley at the 10 yard line, nine yard line we got. And we got stopped, we, we threw an interception right there and killed that drive. And, we was already in field goal range, so that was a huge football play to mm. turn the ball over in that part of the field. Uh, but we're not going to give up. We're going to keep fighting. And it was a second down play, I think, right here. It's a good play by Portlock. Put him in third and long. And now we got to get off the field. The quarterback try to run, and the guy comes off. Man, that's what you got to do. You got to hold that block, shed him, and make the play. And uh, we got him, made him punt, and we got the ball with an opportunity to come back down and score and take the lead if we can score here. Got a little pass across the middle to CJ. <clears throat> As you can see, a quill that class has all day to throw the football. You know, so the offense line did a heck of a job all day of blocking, protecting him. And now we we'll go back to Bentley on third and short run power. <coughs> he almost popped it. That's why he's <laughs> popping the ground and he almost popped that. So but we got happy with the first down and now we're in the fourth quarter. And Bentley breaks it. Gave him a good move right yeah, there. Coach. He gave him a little shake right there, made the guy miss, took it to the house, and we tied up. And this right here is to take the lead, man. We got the lead 28-27 uh, here in the end of the third quarter. Bulldogs' first lead of the ball game. Yeah. So, another great run by Bentley, man. I mean, I just can't 
saying enough good things about that young man and how hard he played. His leadership on and off the football field. Uh, if I had 100 of him, man, I'd never lose a football game. Mm. And now when you're making this climb up, Coach, you got the lead for the first time in the ball game. What are the looks in your student athletes' eyes like right now? Oh, they fired up, man. They ready to go. You see the defense flying around right there. And, uh, then Mike Mills make a breakup right there on a third down. And so now we're going to get off the field again. Uh, here is a, this inside zone run right there. It's a good stop. But they scored. So they got the lead back now. It's, it's in the fourth quarter. And uh, they got a six-point lead. They missed the extra point. So we got to, we got to somehow come up with football, and we did. Woo! We got to, uh, we got to turn over right there. I don't lo like all that passing the ball around when we got the ball. Right. Let us let the offense do the job. We've been doing the job, you know. <laughs> we, we we let us do the scoring. But now uh, here's Bentley with another good run, man. And uh, shoot, we down to the 22, 23-yard line. And. Uh, and going back to Bentley again. Ooh. Another good run right there by Bentley, cutting up on the guy with the 15 yard line, man. And uh, we, didn't get no, we didn't get any points. And this is the missed field goal. Yeah, they drove it back down and had a chance to go up nine points and missed it. So we got the ball back to 240 in the game with an opportunity to go, right, go down and score right here. <clears throat> we get a pass completion at the bet to Zay. Now we're at the 50. <clears throat> Oh, that was a good look. We got to pass to uh, Abraham uh, Abdul right here. We, we had the 25 yard line and we're moving the ball again. And it's like he thought he had that ball right there in the ground. Ca came out when he hit the ground, man. That would have been a game winner right there. Uh, you no, know, but he's played a great, great game and had a great season. And now we got it right here. We probably should have spiked the ball right there. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, you know, we ran a play and we just didn't get it snapped quick enough, you know. And, uh, you know, I'm not to take the blame for that. I, we got a last play right here. We got it in and he calls us uh, saying that he was out of bounds before he stepped out and stepped back in and caught the ball. And uh, so they weighed the touchdown off. But we scored a touchdown right there, to mm. tied up, and they threw a penalty and uh, said that he stepped out before he came in. He couldn't be the first one to touch the ball. Therefore, uh, they took the touchdown off the board where we would have won the game. So, now, it uh, looked like at the end of the game, Coach, that the officials were going to give us another play to run. What happened with that? Yeah, it was uh, – the, the penalty was on us, and the time was out. So, it's not an untimed down in that situation. If the penalty would have been on them, we could have got an untimed down and had one more play. But the penalty was against us, so therefore the time was out and the ball game was over. I know, Coach, we felt bad getting back on the bus, and we will talk a bit about that when we come back on the Alabama a and Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, a church with a big heart of love. Located at 315 Winchester Road in Huntsville, Alabama. Under the leadership of Dr. O. Wendell Davis. The worship services begin at 745 a.m. and 1045 a.m. every Sunday. Now, we pray that you are blessed by our worship experience. Engineering and science usually look like this, but our students build race cars from the ground up, explore wind tunnels, particle accelerators, and crystal growth. Our studies in cybersecurity and rocket propulsion have tech companies like Google and SpaceX recruiting at Alabama A&M University with one of the highest percentages of women STEM graduates in the country. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. 98.9 WJAB-FM Huntsville 100,000 watts 24 hours a day Smooth jazz and cool vocals and the home of mellow madness till midnight Ninety point nine WJAB from the campus of Alabama A&M University 
Alabama A&M University presents its 50th anniversary banquet Thursday, December 5th at 7 p.m. in the T.M. Elmore Gymnasium. Celebrating 50 years of making a difference, we'll present guest speaker, author, minister, and radio host Michael Eric Dyson. For ticket information, 256-372-5550. Companies hunger for our food scientists. Here, a new generation manages our cities of tomorrow. The discovery of hardier plants, healthier animals, is growing at our research station. Alabama A&M University, where new designs and ideas are put to the test. Be a researcher in our labs, or a forestry fire dog in our fields. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs. Again, thank you for watching the Alabama A&M football review with head coach Connell Nainer. I'm Ted Dixie, your host. Coach, we end this game with an opportunity to get a chance to play for a championship. Lots of us bought in, but it's senior day. This Saturday, 1 o'clock p.m. is a kickoff against Mississippi Valley State. Bulldog faithful, we hope that you will come out and send this senior class off. We always want students to come to Alabama A&M University, and we need to show them what it's about and what our love is like. Yeah, we need a big crowd, man. We need everybody's support. Season ain't over. Uh, we're still trying for a winning season. Go 75. We want to send these seniors out with back-to-back -back winning seasons, and we want to show them how much we support them. Uh, for all their blood, sweat, and tears for four years, and some of them five right. years in this program. That's right. uh, show them how much we care about them and uh, how much we love this program and uh, where we're trying to take this program. Uh, Y'all showing up Saturday is going to show me a lot and these guys how much, you, how much you appreciate what we've done in two years and what they've done in four years and five years. Look forward to seeing you Saturday. We have to say, Coach, we're thankful for you and your coaching staff and the student-athletes. A few years ago, we were hoping we could win. Now we expect to win, Coach. Thank you for that. But how does that culture change take place? Uh, just hard work, man. Believing, uh, understanding that uh, you put your shoes on just like they do. You go out and perform and do your job. You're going to have a chance to win the football games. And then just believing that you're the best football team and that you can win the game. And that's what our guys do now. They believe. They know that we can play with these guys and that we can win these guys. And we just a player of two away right now. And uh, so we got to we're going to go out and hit that road and get some more players in here, and we're going to execute a little bit better and, get, and bring those championships back to Huntsville. Thank you so much for watching the Alabama a and Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard, Services Sovereignty. So long, everybody. Thank you.